I was sitting in my office one day and received a phone call from a member of the Home Builders Association of Delaware and they wanted to partner with us, start a project with our construction trades and it came up as a shed project. They wanted our construction trades as well as our technical drafting career program. I sat down with an architect that they sent in, they came up with the blueprints um, and then they've also sent in builders to work with our construction trades including carpentry, electrical trades, HVAC and plumbing to get this shed project off the ground. That right now, all the builders that we talk to do not have enough skilled labor out there. And so we see this as a great opportunity to get local kids involved in the industry so that they can become part of this industry when they graduate. As the Home Builders Association of Delaware, we uh, have brought together the suppliers and some of the technical expertise to try to bring that to the kids so that they can put these sheds together. So what we did, we kind of made it as an in-shop in competition for my seniors. And so I let them use whatever software they felt comfortable. They could use AutoCAD, Revit, SolidWorks. And once they you know, got in their comfort level, I, I kind of let them take the wheels from there. I gave them you know, full freedom for design. We had some constraints, like uh, what size the particular shed was. Um, but other than that, they could, um, they could come up with any, any type of design that they wanted. I want to go into mechanical engineering field. And specifically, it's, it is nice to know like, um, the how plans work and how like an actual project is made so like, I can have that knowledge when I go into college and bring that into the field that I want to go into. For the software we use Revit. Um, I'm particularly new to Revit, I haven't really had any experience so working on the shed um, really really sharpened my experience with Revit. Um, one day, uh, I think it was this past fall, um, we had professionals come in, um, one from each field and we all sat down together and we collaborated to figure out what we wanted to be in the shed and how it was all going to fit and just to get all the kinks out of it. And uh, it was really interesting to see all that go down and to learn from you know, all these guys who've been doing it for so long. I just can't wait to see the final product. My involvement in this project was designing the structural aspects of the shed and giving the plans to carpentry so that they could build it with the blueprints that I made. And so when we were uh, told about having to do this shed uh, project, what I did was uh, explain to my students what the process is going to be, what we're going to do, and go we're building two sheds. I selected two group of students, that are four in each group, that were going to work on it, and then it serves as a form of competition, and at the same time, it's going to be a learning process. So I've always worked around as the coach, I move around, I direct them, I give them the next step that they have to go through. As a group, uh, Ms. Hanson uh, chose four of us to work on the project, so we all together built the base, the walls, the roof, um, so we all had a share in constructing the shed. The first project that we've done as a group kind of shows us how um, being in the workforce will be, uh, working in maybe small groups or even bigger groups. Uh, my involvement with the Home Show project was working with my group and we basically did the framing for the shed. So we constructed the shed from top to bottom, which gave uh, other career areas a chance to get in there. I learned a lot while uh, working on the Home Show project. I learned how to put in windows. I basically learned how to construct the whole house from top to bottom and everything that needs to be done. I would say that uh, throughout this process I've learned a lot and also learned how to work with other people. It gave me a chance to uh, see what it would be like working in a construction field. I had the uh, students produce a plan for the, uh, for the sheds and design the electrical system so that it mimicked uh, a small house. It was based upon the National Electrical Code so everything was up to standard and code. Um, the students uh, designed it, drew it, um, brought it to me for approval and then once it was approved they uh, went out and actually performed all the work, uh, got everything wired up. These sheds, basically I run all the electrical wire from one panel to multiple receptacles, switches and lighting for inside and outside the shed. Uh, teamwork makes a big difference when you're on a job site. You can't do everything you want to do alone. Sometimes you need backup from your friends. This was the first time I ever ran electrical through walls or into a ceiling. 
So I had to overcome certain things like drilling and stapling wires up through the ceiling. Basically what I did was I took out, like I kind of drilled the holes out for the different pipes and I put it in the drain pipe, put in all the water lines on both of the sheds. It really taught me how to like, like a lot of leadership kind of thing because I worked with two other people that kind of helped me on the project and I learned how to like manage them. It was a lot of measuring out and like trying to figure out where the holes were and I had to drop the pipe down a couple times. HVAC class involvement was that we installed mini split systems. Mini split systems are unique in that they don't have any duct work involved. This allows us to save money and time when installing these unique systems. It provides heating and cooling to the shed because there is no duct work. Also, it provides a lot more space for the user in the shed. We're looking forward to a very successful project and raising a lot of money for the school.